All right, so the Australian Open draw has just come out for the men and the ladies. We're going to go through the ladies draw first for this event. And, man, there are some crazy first-round matchups. But let's go through the players that are not playing because there's some big names that are actually not playing. The big names that are not playing in this event, we have Mukova. She's pulled out. Madison Keys has also pulled out, both with injury. Kvitova, she's pulled out because she's having a baby, as is Belinda Bencic. They're all having, uh, both of them are having babies, so they're not going to be playing for the rest of the year. But let's go to the top of the draw because this draw is insane. So top of the draw, we've got, of course, 32 seeds in this one. No buyers in the Grand Slams. And you can see there, Sviantec. She takes on Sofia Kennan in the first round. The former champion versus the world number one. The champ v champ first round, insane. And it doesn't get any easier. Uh, the next match being Collins versus Kerber. So the winner of Fiance Kennan plays the winner of Collins versus Kerber. Then you've got to qualify taking on the wild card Kessler. Winner of that will take on either Nuskova or the 31st seed Buzkova in the second round. Then you've got Svetlina, the 19th seed, taking on the wild card Preston. Winner of that will take on either Day or Tomova in the second round. Then you've got Christian taking on Siniakova. Winner of that will take on either Golovic or the number 15 seed. Kudamatova. So, interesting section, of course. The first rounds for Sviantec are crazy. First, second rounds are not going to be uh, fun for Sviantec. Then we go to Ostapenko, number 11 seed. He takes on Birol, the, uh, the wild card in the first round. Winner of that takes on either Martic or Tomlanovic in the second round. Then you got Minden taking on Towson. Winner of that will take on either Georgie or the number 18 seed as a ranker. Then you've got Navarro, the 27 seed, taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on either Chokioretto or a qualifier. Then you've got Vic Meyer taking on Gracheva. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier or the number seven seed, Von Drusova. So that part of the draw, I mean, obviously for Sviantec, it's not fun because you've got Ostapenko and you've got Azarenka and even uh, Von Drusova, Wimbledon champion there. But uh, this is an interesting section. Vondi hasn't been great lately. You know, Ostapenko is hit and miss. Azarenka's got a little bit of an injury worry. Navarro, I think, did pretty well in Auckland. I can't remember exactly. Of course, this section of the draw will take on the Sviantec section potentially in a quarterfinal matchup. So we could be getting, we could be getting Sviantec taking on Von Drusseva. We could be getting Sviantec taking on Ostapenko. And we all know that Ostapenko doesn't lose to Sviantec, especially uh, we've seen her in the majors, especially last year at the US Open. We could be getting Sviantec taking on Azarenka if we want to go with that one. But uh, man, that is a very top heavy section of the draw. Uh, some massive names. Any of the, I mean, Sviantec has to get through some killers. Next section of the draw now, we've got the number three seed, Rebakina. She takes on Pliska in the first round. So the seeds are just getting uh, in the top half of the draw anyway, just getting real tough matches. Winner of that will take on either Buxa or Blinkova in the second round. Then you've got Maria taking on Osorio. Winner of that will take on either Schneider or the number 26 seed, Paulini, in the second round. Then you've got Kalanina, the 24th seed, taking on Ruse. Winner of that will take on either Kalan Skyer or a qualifier. Then you've got Sloan Stevens taking on the wild card Gadetsky. Winner of that will take on either Stearns or the number 14 seed Kazakina in the second round. That first round sucks for Pliskova, but I mean, it looks pretty nice after that. Not too many heavy hitters, a lot of, you know, good defensive players, but Pliskova is a very tough player. I mean, they're both very, they're probably, they're, I mean, almost identical the way that they play each other. So I don't know. I don't think it's that bad if she can get through that first round. Maybe there's some random obstacles, but I think pretty manageable for Rabakina. Then you've got the number 12 seed Zhang taking on Kruger. Winner of that will take on either Bolter or Yuan in the second round. Then you've got Radu Kana versus Rogers. Probably the best unseeded matchup going into the first rounds. Rogers coming back from, I think, a, a bit of time off. Radu Kana, of course, on the comeback from injury. Very fun first round. Both very dangerous at their best. Winner of that will take on either Wong or Castella, the 22nd seed in the second round. Then you've got Zhu, the 29th seed, taking on Dodden. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Trevison. Then you've got Krunic taking on Burrell. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number five seed, Pagula, in the second round. This section's strange because, you know, there are names. Obviously, Castella's played well. Zhang is, you know, we're all waiting for her to do something at a slam, uh, make a final or something like that. Pagula, of course, has a quarterfinal block that she's trying to overcome and maybe it happens here maybe not and of course this section will play the Rabakina section in the quarterfinal so we're going to have potentially Rabakina taken on Pagula we could have Rabakina taken on Zhang that's a fun matchup maybe even Rabakina taken on Castella or if you want to go crazy and this one's for the Rodokano fans maybe we get Rabakina taken on Rodokano and of course this section in the semi-finals takes on the Sviantec section so of course Sviantec Rabakina that is the big one that could happen we could get Sviantec taken on Pagula if Pagula can get through that quarterfinal hump. And also maybe even Sviantec taking on Zhang if you want to go with, uh, if you put more faith in Zhang to go and make her first semifinal at a major. But very, very top-heavy sections of the draw with a lot of big names playing in that section. To the bottom half of the draw, we've got Maria Sacri, the number eight seed, taking on Abino. Winner of that will take on either Bay or Avanesian in the second round. Then you've got Kostruk taking on Lou. Winner of that will take on either Sharif or the 25 seed Mertens in the second round. 
Then you've got the 20th seed Lynette, who made the semis here last year, taking on Wozniacki, who won the tournament back in uh, 2019, 2018. Uh, so that's a very tough first round, especially for Lynette, who has a lot of points to defend. Winner of that will take on either Cornet, who I think is playing the last Oz Open. She plays a qualifier first round. Then you've got Tormo taking on another quality. Winner of that will take on either Frubatova or the number 10 seed Adaj Maya. Again, another open section of the draw. Zachary, if she plays her best, should get through. Hadaj Maya could make a surprise. Uh, obviously, Wozniacki will get a lot of headlines if she can beat Lynette in that first round, and maybe she has a fairy tale run, kind of like Svetlina did at Wimbledon last year. Next section of the draw, you've got Garcia, the 16th seed, taking on Osaka. Best first round going around. I mean, Kenan Triontek's good. This one is three sets written all over it. Great, great to see them play this early. Uh, winner of that will take on either Frere or Saville, the wild card in the second round. Then you've got Putin Seba taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Yuvan or the number 23 seed Potapova in the second round. Then you've got the 32nd seed Fernandez taking on a quali. Winner of that will take on either Parks or another quali. Then you've got Dollarhide taking on another quali. Winner of that will take on either Schmidlova or the number four seed Goff in the second round. So a lot of qualies in that little section for Goff, but of course there is also a, a killer there with Fernandez, who we know can beat anybody. This section of course plays the Zachary section, so it could be Goff taking on Zachary. If we want to go with the big names, it could be Goff taking on Hadaj Maya. If you want to go something a little different, it could be Goff versus Wozniacki, which I think we saw at the US Open last year. Or if you want to go a little bit different, you could go with Zachary taking on Fernandez which I think might have been a matchup we've seen recently. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, or Zachary Osaka, if you want to be a little bit different with that as well. Uh, or even Zachary taking on Gar uh, Garcia. I mean, that's been a match over the last couple of years. We've seen a lot when they were in the top 10 together. On the bottom half of the draw, the bottom quarter of the draw, Jabir, the number six seed, she takes on a quality winner of that will take on either Andreva or Pera in the second round. Andreva Jabir, second round. That is Fire. Then you've got Rackham overtaken on Vectis. Winner of that will take on either Parry or the 30th seed Wong in the second round. Then you've got Alexandrova, the 17th seed, taking on Sigamund. Winner of that will take on either Qualifier or Irani in the second round. Then you've got Korpash taking on Burridge. Winner of that will take on either Hontama or number nine seed Krajikova in the second round. This section's interesting because you think that Jabur should get through, but Andreva is a nightmare. So that's going to be tough in that second round. Krajikov is not being great, so again, Jabir would like her chances if she can get through Andreva, and that's it's not a not a given. Andreva, we know what she can do. Krajikov, we all know, all know what she can do as well, but she hasn't been good enough lately to kind of instill any confidence. Next section of the draw, the last section of the draw, we've got Samson over, the 13th seed, taking on Nisimova. That is tough for both. Nisimova on the comeback, Samson over, not playing well. Very tough first round match for both. Winner of that will take on either Podoroska or Zedenshek in the second round. Then you got Townsend taking on Bedosa. Winner of that will take on either Pavlyuchenkova or Vekish, the 21 seed, in the second round. Then you've got Sharenko, the 28 seed, taking on Bronzetti. Winner of that will take on either Masarova or Sasnovich in the second round. Then you got Bogdan taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number two seed, Sabalenka. Sabalenka's got the best draw. I mean, qualies. Unless they're bad qualities, but they should be good. I mean, they should be uh, manageable. Sharenko is manageable. I mean, Samson over might not even get out of the first round. Same with Vekic. She might play Bedosa, and she's friends with Bedosa, but also can beat her. And then Jabur in the quarters. I mean, Sabalenka to the quarters is a, a very nice, nice path. And of course, this section of the draw will take on Jabur section. So possibly we do get Sabalenka Jabur in a quarterfinal. Possibly uh, Sabalenka versus Krajikova, which wouldn't be great because Sabalenka has had her battles against Krajikova in the past. And then this section take on the Goff section in the semi. So it could be Sabalika versus Goff in the semi-finals. It could be Jabur versus Goff in the semis. It could be Sabalika versus Osaka if you want to dream big. Uh, it could be Sabalika versus Zachary or even Zachary versus Jabur in the semis. If you want to go a little wild, but I think, look, Sabalenka in the semis, even making the final again, seems very, very legit. Let me know down in the comments below. What, uh, if you're watching this later, who do you think's going to win the Australian Open based on the draw? Who do you think's got the best draw? I mean, Sabalenka, right? I mean, that's the answer. Who's got the worst draw? Sviantek on paper has the worst draw, in my opinion, but maybe you see it differently. Uh, but man, what a crazy Australian Open draw. Starts on Sunday, one day early, so make sure you set your alarms. So watching first round Sunday, we're going to see some of these matches.